A team of researchers led by Dr. Harold Ott of Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston have successfully created a functioning rat's kidney using cells from newborn rats. Ott said his team started working with kidneys from 68 rats and used detergent to remove the actual cells. That left behind a renal scaffold, a three-dimensional framework made of the fibrous protein collagen, complete with all of the kidney's functional plumbing from filter to ureter. The scientists then seeded that scaffold with renal cells from newborn rats and blood vessel lining from cells from human donors. To make sure each kind of cell went to the right spot, they infused vascular cells through the kidney's artery, part of the scaffold, and the renal cells through the ureter. When organs were placed in a dialysis-like device that passed blood through them, they filtered waste and produced urine. But the true test came when the scientists transplanted the kidneys into rats from which one kidney had been removed. Although not as effective as real kidneys, the lab-made ones did pretty well. In the United States, 100,000 people with end-stage renal disease are on waiting lists for donor kidneys, but 5,000 to 10,000 die each year before they reach the top of the transplant list. If the technology is ever ready to make kidneys for people, the cells would come from the intended recipient, which would minimise the risk of organ rejection and reduce the need for lifelong immune suppression to prevent that.